Low 404 Boxing. All right, y'all. I see a, I see quite a few of the bigger channels, or or the big channel rather, because I ain't got no big channel, but uh, have gotten behind Demetrius Andre full steam ahead, and they're putting the full court press on Canelo to answer the answer the call. You know what I'm saying? Um, I I know a lot of people they're gonna say, hey, he got the Caleb Plant fight. He's trying to become undisputed. You know what? I don't even care about that fight you no more. You know why? Because he was only one fight away from being undisputed. For the and all he needed was the WBO belt at 160, and he walked away from that Demetrius Andre fight and went and fought Kovalev. And that fight did absolutely nothing in terms of getting him anything close to the undisputed. So if undisputed wasn't important then, don't make it all about being undisputed now. The only reason undisputed is important for Canelo now. At 168 is because it's the path of least resistance. It's not that gauntlet that he had to run through 160 to be undisputed. You know what I'm saying? And and also, remember, he was being pressed to defend that WBC title versus um, Jamal Charlo as well. And, and for those who keep questioning me on Facebook and even on my channel about what it is that I think these guys have to offer that makes Canelo fret fighting them or what kind of issues they could give him you know at the end of the day none of that's a re none of that really is relevant the, the fact of the matter is that these guys put themselves in position y'all keep saying they need to put themselves in position but they put themselves in position to fight this man and he always looks the other way just like Demetrius Andre said back in 2016 Canelo Alvarez could fight him for the WBO title but instead he fight James Kirkland coming off a layoff the man stepped James Kirk Kirkland in the fight and basically told him who his trainer could be, that he couldn't have Ann Wolf in his corner. At least that's what's been said over and over and over. I never heard anybody refute that statement. I never heard anybody say or prove that that wasn't the case. Um, so to me, the fact that this man has stayed away from these guys, and I'm going to stay on Andre, but let me just say one more thing. I will go ahead and answer the question. What gives Canelo problems is a, a stiff jab, a consistent jab, an educated jab, and, and good fu good fundamentals, which Jamal Charlo has. Jamal Charlo has a high work rate. Demetrius Andre represents the other skill sets that give Canelo problems. That's good footwork. That's good movement. That's angles. That's punches coming from awkward angles. You know what I'm saying? And and he also has a work rate that would trouble Canelo. And not to mention that these guys have a high boxing IQ. These guys are not just some run of the mill guys who are just showing up to get a pay would just show up to get a payday and lay down. You know what I'm saying? If you want you don't think a jab gives Canelo trouble, look at the Kovalev fight. Kovalev only threw the jab. Canelo couldn't get past. It. And then all of a sudden, Canelo lands one punch and the fight's over. Get the fuck out of here. You know, to me, more so than it is about whether or not Andre gives Canelo trouble, the reality is that Andre put himself in a position for the fight and Canelo won't fight the man. I don't care if Canelo would be a thousand to one favorite versus Andre. I don't care if Canelo stops Andre 20 seconds into the round, the first round. The man put himself in position for the fight, which is what people say somebody should do when they want to fight instead of just talking. That didn't work. He's called Canelo out for years. That's not working. So he finally shows up at a presser right after Canelo's fight, wearing a t-shirt, saying Canelo and the opponent Canelo knocked out. Both ducked him. Both are afraid to fight him. And Canelo, as soon as he sees him, you see all this nervous energy and jitter and stuff. And he tries to laugh it off. Oh, this guy. No, Canelo don't want any part of that man. I don't care who says otherwise. I don't care how many thumbs down the video gets. I don't care who comes in the comment section trying to prove otherwise. The proof is in the pudding. If Canelo wanted any problems with that man, he'd have already fought him. And if he's if he's a horrible fighter, if he don't fight anybody, if he's so easy to beat, Canelo should have already beat him by now. That's all I got to say on the subject. D-Lo 404 Boxing, get that man a shot. I'm out.